So I just finished watching John Drives Anything, John's video, and he just got his cat stolen. That's some bullshit, you know. So much crap going on in the world right now. Like, the price of gold is almost 2000 price of silver is almost $25. So the catalytic thefts may go up just because the price of the metals are going up because of this whole war thing going on that's pretty much the reason why i won't lift this thing right now because i get to keep it in the garage my neighborhood's nice too but that doesn't mean anything because i could park this somewhere else and cats go in like 90 seconds these guys are fast so i came to check on mine and lo and behold I don't even have one. I don't have the big uh, missile one that everybody has. I have these. It's a little one here. And then <laughs> there's another. Yeah, so mine is this here. And it's not easily accessible, but I'm sure these guys have tricks because here's where the cut point would be for this one. And then the cut point would be here, but this thing's in the way. Now I'm looking and this is like a Y pipe that cuts over and there's another cat right there so looks like I have two cats to worry about instead of the long one monster one that that's usually right here so I can't afford to get a new cat so, and I can't afford to, I can't afford to pay for a cage. They're about 300 bucks and I talked to um, the guy that fixed my plugs and he said, if you get a cage, please don't get it welded. Because um, if there's any work that needs to be done, it needs to be cut and then all that work is for naught. So I saw another trick on YouTube and it used these. These are just exhaust clamps and it's not going to stop anybody but the point is to just slow them down. Um, they go under the, the cars and they, they check to see if the, the cat is there and um, I've heard that if it's an aftermarket cat they'll move on because it doesn't have the precious metals that the, um, the the originals have so this is just a exhaust clamp and it'll go over just where the cut points are yeah if I can just block off the cut points it will look like like something's going on under there, not quite, um, to make it not so easy. Yeah, you can live, you can live in a good area, you can live in a bad area, but it, it can happen anywhere, you know. So, let me give this a shot. So basically, all I'm doing is cutting off access so something like that it's pretty simple I'll get some JB weld or some kind of uh, you know epoxy and just uh, put a couple of dabs in here so it's not so easy just to twist off with your fingers like I said if they just jump under here and they look and they say oh shit something's in the way of the cut point they're not going to want to pull out more tools 
they got their jig they got their chain cutter or whatever they're using and they just want to cut and then go so yeah if they want to cut they'd have to cut here that's the the one spot that they're going to want to cut so i'm blocking i'm choking that little that little gap out and then they're not going to cut here because this whole pipe is connected so that it's just too many they just want to cut once twice and, and be out so choke point one it's pretty good i'm gonna put some jb weld on there they're not gonna there's nowhere for the saw to go in to cut at this access point and that is the only access point i think i mean yeah when I, when I took the van to Marietta to get my plugs changed and the the gasket leak fixed I had to leave it overnight and it was in a not so great area and it's industrial so there's nobody around so anybody could just drive around and pick and choose a, uh, a vehicle to take a cat out of and he said that you know it's been happening there in the parking lot where my van was supposed to be left and he said you know just letting you know that this happens here and if you want to you know leave the van and I said um I'm gonna have to leave the van because he needed to work on it first thing in the morning so I just left it took a chance and you know luckily I came back and the cats were still there um, and the funny thing is he said hey when uh, I, I was working on your van it sounded like your keys were beeping my keys beep to let you know that somebody tried to get in the van <laughs> so yeah um, I guess maybe somebody tried to get in maybe a cat jumped on the van I don't know but that's the type of anti-theft system I have where it lets you know yeah so that's what that would look like as far as cutting off the access point to cut I don't know if that's good enough but you know if somebody were to get under here um, just thinking all I need to do is get in cut get out they're gonna see this and they're going to probably just go to the next instead of having to sit here and fidget with this so there's there's that this is where they would cut so maybe I could put another one right there because this is covered they could easily slide something right here I think I mean these are just hand tightened right now I will go ahead and tighten them before I take this thing out but I think yeah coming under here gone whoop here let me get that choke up they want in and out I just got to get a little bit of that JB weld stuff so that uh, you can't just take a, a wrench to this cut point taken I mean I guess they could cut here but it's the other side that 
they're going to have a problem with. Like, I can't even get under there and I'm taking my time. These guys are trying to rush. So let me see if I can get on the other side. I may buy another two, put one right here, just to double up. And these things only cost about five bucks on Amazon. But yeah, so gotta just get a little JB Weld or something and I'll put that in the thread so this won't be easily unscrewed. just a deterrent it's not gonna make them stop but if we can slow them down that's the point or just a visual deterrent sneak up here they'll be like oh where's the cat here oh there it is but it's blocked and um, yep on to the next hopefully this was a useful video unlike the the shorts that I've been posting